okay. Oh, every time I do that, I just think of the Donkey Kong okay, and it just plays in my mind. You know what I'm talking about? The okay. No? That's me? Okay. So today, I finally get to announce the most exciting news absolutely life-changing. I have been so excited, happened sort of recently, and I finally get to announce it in today's video. We get to open a Brilliant Stars booster box today, momentarily. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, and I'm also engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Got him, Taco. This is who you're stuck with now, buddy. <laughs> I just love trolling Taco. This is a man who has now dedicated the future of his life being this. Because you decided to pair with someone who is actually addicted to collecting plushies. Okay? Okay. <laughs> I can't stop doing it now. We will be doing a whole separate video celebrating my new rock badge here, uh, where Taco and I duel each other in N64 Pokemon Stadium minigames. Had a bad day. I'm pretty much forcing him to be in this video with me. He absolutely hates playing games against me, so it's gonna be a blast. So stay tuned for that coming up soon, but today, as I said, we do get to open a Brilliant Stars booster box. This set is not even out yet. Uh, Pre-releases are coming up soon for this set though, which I am super excited for. Hopefully you all can get some pre-release action in. We're gonna get into it more, but before we actually open this, I have to clarify something here. It kind of goes in tandem with this absolutely beautiful, magical, mystical, legendary drawing right here. Okay, I'm still trash at drawings, don't judge me. That was actually a really difficult one for me to do. <laughs> I used to say Ar Arceus, Arceus, until I learned the correct pronunciation, even though it pains me, it actually physically pains me to say Arceus, but I will be saying Arceus if it comes up. I was actually dunked on by a six-year-old being corrected on the pronunciation and I actually fought fought back. I, I threw fists. No, I, <laughs> I I fought back with this six-year-old until I actually looked up a clip from the anime and got dunked on. Amazing dunk. Had a bad day. Okay, so as I said, this set is very different in a lot of ways. The set, this box, it's not like other Pokemon sets, okay? It's the hipster of Pokemon sets. It's edgy. It's different. It's new. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much to Pokemon for sending me this box here. No thank you for including another Charizard in this set because we all know how that goes. Ayo, <laughs> I'm dead inside. Anyway, first and foremost, let's express our big sad emotions about this uh, actually not being possible. No. no, but on the real, PTCDL is gonna be sick whenever it comes out. I'm so excited and it's gonna be on mobile devices. So hype a do not day. But until then, I suffer. I wake up and I suffer. So as I struggle to open this box, this set is massive, per usual, uh, for Pokemon sets. But there's some interesting aspects to it, outside of just the cards themselves. This set actually has a subset, I guess you could say, a different category of cards. It's like 30 extra cards that are actually gonna be in the reverse hollow spot. I hope they continue doing this because these are awesome like, character rare type cards that are gonna be in this reverse hollow slot and it just seems super sweet. So it just makes box opening way more enjoyable. Also, apparently, I think I read somewhere that if you get a V-Star Pokemon in one of these packs, the basic energy will actually be replaced with a V-Star token which will just be a thing, like a card that says V-Star on it. So that's going to be quite interesting because usually the basic energy is on top, so we'll see that it's a V-Star card, and then we know we're going to get a V-Star Pokemon, but then we're like, <gasps> which one? <laughs> so that is something that is new as well. Wow, these packs are gorgeous. <gasps> what? What? Why do they all match? What? Are they supposed to be like this? What? Yeah, Dang, this is beautiful. Oh. I don't know what it is about the, like the white borders is just gorgeous. The cards in the set are gonna be super sweet. I have not seen the artwork. That's why I don't have a goal card as well. 
Also this energy, holy funfetti of sparkles with a touch of baby rainbow. My goodness, this energy is gorgeous. I'm actually so happy to have a different energy because I didn't really like the last energy we had. Also fire support, little Kindla. Look at this cute little fire apron. Oh my gosh, Prin Plup. Sharon's Care, I hope I said that name correctly. <gasps> Carl the Truly making a comeback. Little Sock Man. Oh, baby corfish looking at the flowers. I'm so sorry. I absolutely destroy you in Pokemon Unite. Uh, Golet. <laughs> Timeko. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. Here we go. Okay, so this is one of the cards I was talking about. It's a character rare or a, a TCG. I forgot what they called the subset. It's like TCG gallery cards or something like that. Um, so they're hollow. They usually have characters on them, but not all of them do. And this is a little Spidey boy. So you can pull this and then the card after this might still be a secret rare or ultra rare or something like that or just a hollow rare or it could not be as well like this. <laughs> So even though we got the non hollow Tornadus, uh, which is kind of nightmare fuel, we can still get a pull here with this absolutely gorgeous character art. Oh my goodness. This artwork. Ooh, Arya knows. Ooh, you could sting me any day, all right? <laughs> no, please, I actually despise spiders. Although I have been letting a spider live um, connected to, like, he has this web, like, right next to all my plants downstairs, and he eats the bugs who try to invade my plants. So I let him live there. Um, and I named him Genie Baby. <laughs> Long live Genie Baby. You are accepted and welcomed, and you can feel safe in our home. All right. I mean, Genie Baby's lived with me for a while, actually. It's been like many months since the summertime. He actually pays like a third of my rent, too. So, I mean, functioning member of society, you know? Gloria, <laughs> Starmie, fresh water sets. You never know when you need to pop out couple of fresh bottles all right to drink your water homies heal 20 damage from each of your mons wow throw what i love this card this artwork is so so nice magmar holy why does this remind me of christmas sweaters ugly christmas sweaters <laughs> i don't know why star you burmy <laughs> What's happening here? Okay, sock. <laughs> Mothim, reverse hollow, and a Dusknor holographic, holographic psychic Dusknor with special transfer. I actually don't think I showed you all the packs of clothes, so I'm gonna do that real quick here. Look at this art, so beautiful. Look at that art. Ooh. Look at that cute little puffball. <laughs> I'm so excited to be opening this set. Waterball, Weavile, Fracture, Fracture, Team Yells, Cheer. Okay. Nose Pass. What? This is so cute. I would actually love this as a poster. How cute would this art be on a poster? That is actually adorable. I would hang that up on my wall. Dedene, Cub Chew. Whoa, 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 whoa. Shinx. Farfetched, wow, that's an interesting one. Clefable Reverse Hollow, and Double Shrimp Combo, <laughs> baby! The bros, the bros! Oh my gosh, Mothim is a Reverse Hollow Rare as well. Wow, I didn't even see that, I just discredited it because it's a moth, oh my goodness. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, Char Baby, looking pretty vicious. Let's see what you can char for us nope so i've decided um after much debate and inner turmoil i've decided to bring back the sounds upon popular request by the way um the pokemon sounds that i will make whenever we pull an ultra rare or above in the final slot this does not include the character reverse hollow rare slots because i don't know exactly how common those are so any rare, ultra rare, secret rare in the last slot we will attempt a sound for. Clang reverse hollow. And a muck. Whoa, this is a really cool art. The muck living on Sludge Street. Wow, Pokemon, how did you know the nickname of my Twitter timeline? <laughs> I don't know why you all 
want to hear me make more Pokemon sounds. It sounds like a terrible idea to me. And I can't promise you, Eyeball Energy, that I won't just rage quit. Um, wow, that is a cute card. <sighs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That, that one's a little bit scary. Oh my god. Oh my god, I want to eat him. Oh my god. Get through this pack, boo. This is incredible. Oh my gosh, and the cute El Creamy. Oh my goodness, I'm, I, Taco's gonna steal it from me, no! This is absolutely gorgeous. Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX, wow. Wow, I actually didn't know that this was a card in the set, so it makes it that much nicer pulling a little surprise out of this set, and it's gorgeous, and this was in the reverse hollow spot, so this is actually uh, considered one of the character rares, or the gallery cards, I guess is what they call them, so I hope you all get this card because it is so beautiful in person. I really like the black and gold versions of the Pokemon cards. This is a beautiful card, so... <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Just don't get it mixed up. I mean, maybe the single strike will have red on the outline instead of blue. Yo, if that's how it is, yo. All right, let's jump into another pack here. Whoo, that was awesome. Hit him on top. Ma Ooh, a new stadium. Magma Basin. Once during each player's turn, that player may attach a fire energy from discard pile to one of their bench Pokemon. If a player attached energy to that Pokemon in this way, don't tell me this about to say draw three cards. Put two damage counters on this Pokemon. Okay, good, good Pokemon. A balanced stadium card. I was about to flip my lid, I tell you what. I was like, if I attach fire energy and then draw cards, I'm done with this game, I'm leaving, I'm walking away, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that is really cool. Crawdunt's making a little scene here, splashing in the river. So cute. Boozle, Gibble. Wow, that's a cute one. Trap. Oh my gosh, I can't. I can't with these cards. Execute. Starly. Oh. oh, snap. Another old man. Reverse hollow. Professor's research. Professor Rowan. The old man. That is sweet that we got a reverse holo of this and a clink clang. Wow. One of my most disliked Pokemon. That one clink clang Twitter fan account is probably my largest hater to this day. So, congrats, <laughs> clink clang lovers. <laughs> How I view clink clang is like if the Pokemon company was just like, all right, all right. Whoa. It's happening. It's happening. <sighs> it's happening. <gasps> Wait. <gasps> okay, when I first heard that this was a thing, I kind of didn't believe it. Second, I didn't realize it was going to actually be this, like, hype. This actually builds the hype of opening a pack so much because I'm like, oh my god. Which one's it gonna be? Also, I feel like this is kind of just a way for Pokemon to save money and not have to include like 20 billion of the tokens anymore. Cause they used to do that with like GX tokens in ETBs. Now you're not gonna have to hoard like 70,000 of those. Cause you just have a cute little paper one. Yay. Oh, JK, never mind. Still comes with one. Amazing there you go. V-Star, baby. We got our token here. I'm scared, I'm scared. Ultra Ball is back, baby. Now from the top, make it Welcome back, Ultra Ball, to the party. One of my favorite balls out there. <laughs> Tropius and his banana beard. I'm not even gonna comment on that. Morgrem, Shroomish, the Grumpy. Oh my gosh, the Grumpy. Turtwig, that's adorable. Mencino, Carablast. <sighs> Reverse holo rare. And. Wait, what? Is this just a prank, bro? Is this 
it's just a prank. Pokemon, there's many ways. You could have trolled me. But this is just dirty, alright? This this was just dirty. A Flygon? Stage two? I still have nightmares from the other Flygon deck. And not only did I not get a V-Star, but I got a Flygon. If you get a V-Star Pokemon in your booster pack, the basic energy in that pack is replaced with a V-Star marker card. What? How that hurt. I was so excited. Yeah, what if all of them are like that? Please. No. I can only take so much suffering. Don't do this to me. Okay, so we had the V-Star token, but no V-Star. So, oh, another stadium? As I was saying, maybe we could get a V-Star Pokemon in a pack that doesn't have a V-Star token. Maybe? Maybe? I really like that nose pass art. Reverse Holo Chimeco and Infernape Holographic. I'm still feeling that. I feel like and every time I get a V-Star card replacing the energy now, I'm not gonna believe it. I'm like scarred for life now. Pokemon, what have you done to me? Do you realize the damaging effects of what has just happened? <laughs> Friends in Galar, how cute is this? This is such a cute card. Wow, Chimeco, Chimchar, Mincino, Ball Toy, Snow Runt, Gabite, Reverse Hollow, and oh, I am just the Flygon Queen today. I <laughs> dislike Flygon <laughs> so much, but this art is so cute. It reminds me of a little, um, like a creamsicle, like a little orange sorbet. Oh my goodness, Flygon. Yes. I dig it. Oh my god, wait, I have to make a Flygon sound. Oh, oh my god, okay. We have Sand Spray for 70, a Grass and a Fist Bump, and then Draconic Impulse for 160 plus. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a VMAX, this attack does 160 more damage, and then you discard three energy from this Pokemon. Wow, that is a hefty, hefty, hefty trash bags cost there, Flygon V. That is four energy cost. Three of them are actual like typing energy. So it's the grass and two fist bumps and then one colorless. And then you have to discard three as well just to use this. But you would hit 320. So I guess they have to kind of balance out the power creep of this card a bit. I know there's a lot of Flygon fans out there. So I feel like people are definitely gonna be playing this card just because they like Flygon and Flygon just haunts my dreams still all the time. Just imagine playing against a deck and as soon as you see them flip their card over and you know what deck it is, you're just like, oh my God. And then you're pretty much, it's just a ticking time bomb from there, essentially. Fist bump energy, you're just waiting until your eternal demise, you know? And that's what it feels like playing against Flygon decks. You're just like, well, this is gonna suck. <laughs> Every Flygon deck I play against, I'm just like, oh, pain. Hall, Lucha, Magma, Reverse, Hello, and a Charizard V. Is this it? Are you happy now? I pulled him. This actually is a really pretty artwork of Charizard. I am a fan of warm colors like this. Yellows, oranges, then my GM. Why did <laughs> Why I get that accent? Charizard, hey, I'm breathing fire here. <laughs> Oh, I never mean the Flygon sound. Okay, so now I have to do both. All right, let's just knock this out. Let's knock this out here after we read this Charizard card, of course. First up, we have Incinerate for 90 damage. Before doing damage, discard all Pokemon tools from your opponent's active Pokemon. Oh, that's cool. Uh, for three energy, and then Heat Blast for four for 180. So pretty generic Zard boy. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> pretty generic. <laughs> All right, it is time to suffer for everybody else's enjoyment. Let's go. What does Flygon sound like? <coughs> oh. Uh -huh. All right, we're doing this. One and done, one and done.
All right, Charizard, your turn. I apologize to anyone who stumbled across this video and is like, wow, I'm ready to watch a new Pokemon set be open. Like, I'm so excited. Nope. Nope. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you get that with a whole lot of cringe on top. So, Milk Ball, Carablast, <laughs> Fairy. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. Escamalea. Umbreon V. Wow, with Karen in the back? Yo, why does it look like the Umbreon is just sick of Karen right now though? <laughs> the Umbreon's like, I don't know what you just said, Karen, but I'm out of here. Oh my gosh, wait, the mean look completely explains this card now. Wow, there you go. I love just the aesthetic of it, that they're like at a bus stop, but the top, it, the top part's either, either glass or it's just open. I guess it would make sense for it to be open, so it's probably glass. But you can see the sky through it as well with the lamps. Oh, the hollow on it is just gorgeous. Wow. Okay, so I'm vibing right now with this box. I am very happy with these pulls so far. And I don't know how the, the uh, gallery cards or the character rares are actually going to change the pull rates that you get out of a box. I don't know if it adds on or like takes away from the usual pull rates you get from a booster box. I'd be very interested to see because I feel like I've been getting some incredible pulls so far and I still feel like we have so many packs to go. Non-holographic Waluigi. <laughs> I hope everyone got their pre-orders in and is ready. Ooh, fist bump energy to go to pre-releases for this set. The pre-releases are going to be... <sighs> Super nice. I'm very excited for... Uh, I don't know if I will go to one or try to attend one, um, but I'm excited to get the kits, at least. Reverse Holo Burmy. Ah, uh, a Raikou! Oh my gosh, with the fleet-footed ability as well, once during your turn, uh, if this Pokemon's in the active spot, you can draw a card. So the same thing that we see on Suicune as well. And then Lightning Rondo. Why does that sound familiar? Huh. 20 plus... Wait, Blizzard Rondo? Yeah, Bli- Wow. Lightning Rondo 20 plus. This attack does 20 more damage for each benched Pokemon. Wait, so this is Suicune in an electric version. They're just like, so you don't like water. I like it. I love this artwork. I love Raikou as a Pokemon, so I am very happy that it's actually a good card because Suicune is an incredible deck. A lot of people play it. So um, that is a huge ally. All right, next pack we're getting into here. Fireball Energy, Roseanne's Backup. There are many bullet points on this card that I'm going to read into later. Uh, <laughs> Floatzel. Choice Belt. This card right here is the difference between a knockout and no knockout, pretty much. Like, if you just need that little bit of extra damage, you get to search out this card, attach it to your Mon, and win the game, essentially. This is a scary card to go up against, or to go up against a deck that has this card, because the capabilities are unknown. You don't know. Until they attach it, which they could hold out on, um... You can't do anything about it. So that is a very powerful card right there. That could change quite a lot of games. Woo! That is awesome that that card is in this set. Piplup. Oh my gosh! <gasps> and it's a single strike roar. Houndoom. That is pretty. Whoa! Look at this Mewtwo! These are two gorgeous cards. Oh my goodness. Ooh, that's a difficult choice now. Do you play this Houndoom or do you play the Secret Rare Houndoom? Tough life decisions. We are getting some pulls today. I'm still a little salty about that V-Star pack. I was expecting a V-Star and I feel like I got, I got shamed. I'm still sad about it. <laughs> Duskull and a reverse holo kindler yo that is sweet another reverse holo trainer a supporter and oh Mwah. perfecto i love this very very nice roaring resolve lucario sorry to everyone who thinks i go too slow 
in my openings. Actually, I'm not sorry. I don't actually care. What do you think about my content? <laughs> Cynthia's ambition. Draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. If any of your Pokemon were knocked out, draw until you have eight cards in your hand. Yo, it is nice to see a Cynthia back in the format with some draw support as well. I like it, Torkoal. Double turbo energy, here we go. What I have been waiting for. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides double colorless, baby. The attacks of the Pokemon this card is attached to do 20 less damage to your opponent's Pokemon. So with most OP cards, there has to be a little buffer there. And of course, the 20 less damage is that buffer. It's the only fair way to go about printing amazing cards, but that is so awesome to have uh, for single prize decks, single prize Pokemon. I mean, hey, even like double prize Pokemon decks as well. That's just a good card. Reverse Holo Bear Tick and, and a Haxorus non-holographic. He looks kind of cute in this. I like his little dad bod. That's cute. But as I was saying before, um, my openings for new sets, especially booster boxes, usually go on a little bit longer because I try to stop on some cards. I can't do it with every card, but I try to stop along the way, read a couple cards, see what's cool about sets. Oh my god, that terrified me! Oh my god, and we got a beautiful pull! Oh, my heart! Oh my god, let me turn that down. Thank you for the sub. <laughs> That is a beautiful card. Holy smokes. Sylveon VMAX. This card really just encapsulates the giant Sylveon VMAX essence. Wow, and that was in the reverse hollow slot, and we still have a rare on the back as well. The other reason why I probably won't stop on- Oh, Pokemon don't do this to me again! <laughs> <sighs> the other reason why I won't stop on all of the character reverse holo spot ones is because these are usually reprints of cards I've already explained in my other videos. So if you just go binge watch those, you can get info on those cards too, uh, if we pull them at least. All right, here we go. <sighs> the Grodel too. All right. Let's see if we get juked. You know, I'm going into it with a little bit of caution now. Uh, and we're just gonna see what happens. Pokemon, this is your redemption road, okay? Don't punish me again, Pokemon. Yeah, baby! Woo! Here we go. Whimsicott V-Star. This is my first time seeing a V-Star card. I love everything about this. Everything about this design. I love it. I am... Fluffball star. Trick wind for 160 and 3 energy, including one eyeball. During your opponent's next turn, they can't play any Pokemon tool or special energy cards from their hand. Wow, so that's actually extremely powerful if there are a lot of decks that have special energy. So it is a little bit situational, I suppose. It is only from their hand, though. So if you do have a card like, I guess, um, Alessa's Sparkle or something like that that doesn't play from hand, then they could still technically play or get around that. So that is a little bit meh. And then we have Fluffball Star for the V-Star power. So this is just like a GX move um, if we're referencing Sun and Moon. Uh, you can only do one per game. This attack does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon, so any benched or active, for each energy attached to this Pokemon. So if you already have three attached, you're doing 180 with your V-Star power, which does not seem very strong um, for a V-Star power. This is only a Pokemon that's worth two prize cards versus like V-Maxes and such that are worth three prize cards. So there is that, but I still feel like 180 is kind of rough. And then if you start adding uh, additional energies, you will do more damage than that, but it's only for one turn of the game because you can only do V-Star power once. So this does seem like a very situational V-Star card, um, but still really cute. Here we go, fist bump energy. There's just so much to go through. Um, I feel like I can't explain enough from this set. <laughs> There's so many cards and so many cool abilities and things. So I'm just, I'm very excited. Reverse Hollow Clink and another Mothim as well. I can't wait until we pull some, some more sweet cards that I get to 
explain. Maybe we'll go into a deeper description of some cards in another video. Uh, I'm sure I will be playing V-Star decks as well and doing some PTCGO gameplay of that too. Reverse Hollow Dust Skull. And, oh, look at this! Stop, a more Peko V. Daw and Run. You may switch this Pokemon with one of your benched Pokemon and it does 30 damage. And Hangry Spike, stop. If you played Marnie's Pride from your hand during this turn, this attack does 120 more damage? Wait, what? 240 damage for three energy on a two prize card Pokemon? I gotta find out what the Marnie, I never read the Marnie card. I saw it many times. We've pulled it, but I haven't read it yet. We need to find out what this Marnie does. Attach a basic energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. I like this combo. I don't know what to say. I like this a lot. <laughs> Aw, oh, snap, this is a sweet card, and now we have to make a sweet Morpeko sound. At least it might be cute, who knows? <laughs> oh, that's when he's evil. All right, he's like, Peko, 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 Peko. I love when Pokemon makes like cute Pokemon, cute little little goobers that are actually very powerful instead of having to make like all the giant Pokemon, the only super powerful ones. Dusclops, this is by far my favorite Dusclops art ever. They, I just love everything about this card. I think it is so, so cute. Wow, I really liked that one. Choice Belts, Riolu, Burmy, Staryu. Oh my gosh, I'm having a Kara blast opening this set. Wow. <laughs> Reverse hollow rare here. Oh wow, no, it's not a rare. Just kidding. Whoa. <laughs> I thought wrong and a holographic Moltres as well. All right, let's get into this next pack. We have metal energy, hunting gloves. Ooh, Weavile. Execute, Grimer, Sneasel, Bidoof, oh, so cute, Electivize, Reverse Hollow, Torterra, and <laughs> Waterball, Energy, Sensino, Cleansing Gloves, what? 30 more damage to your opponent's active Psychic Pokemon. Oh, Cleansing the format of Mew, I see. <laughs> I see, Spirit Tomb. Oops, I skipped one. Axe you. Oh, that's so cute. That is adorable. Imp Dimp, uh, Magmar, Spirit Tomb, Reverse Hollow, and. <sighs> oh my god. We have so many pulls right now. And then we get a Seeker Rare. On top of that, and it is the Galarian Articuno V Secret Rare. I can't believe this right now. Holy smokes. So Galarian Articuno V is a card that we already have and that I have used in decks. It's great in decks that have to discard cards because it allows you to discard those cards and then you also draw a card as well. So it's fantastic as a bench sitter to discard cards um, into your discard pile. But we didn't have the secret rare of it. Uh, it is now a thing and it is in this set. So this is absolutely amazing. Oh, we have to make Articuno sound. <laughs> no! I'm not doing this one. I'm not doing this one. That sounds like a demon. Okay, I'm not trying to summon some evil spirits into my house by making the sound of a Galarian Articuno, okay? No way, homies. This box is bananas. I can't stand it. Dark Energy Tropius with the banana beard. New style coming back in. We got the coconut bangs and the banana beard, okay? Morgrim, Claydol, yo, what is happening here? Claydol in this artwork looks like he's just the final boss of like a video game or something. <laughs> That's exactly what that looks like. Clink, Dedene, Kabachu, 
Death Skull, Farfetched, Purloin, Reverse Hollow, and what? Oh my god! It's Tango Bitties! <laughs> I'm putting this in the polls. Wow, look how cute that artwork is! Oh my gosh! That is adorable. Stellar. Absolutely stellar. Leaf Energy at Double Turbo Energy, Probo Pass. Roseanne's Backup, Throw, Shroomish, Piplup, Turtwig, Sneasel, what? The Dene Gallery card character artwork, whatever you call it, and a Golurk non-holographic on the back there. Look at this. See, I don't know if it's just the box or if it's just the set. I think it's just this set that we're getting so many pulls because the set is just so bomb. I'm out of sleeves. So many pulls, we're out of sleeves here. We gotta get some more sleeve. <laughs> I'm actually curious to... <gasps> oh! Yo, it's sweet because you just like, you like rotate up and it's just like... Oh! That is so nice. I love this. Pokemon, keep doing it. I love this. Everything about this. I love it, okay? Oh my gosh, let's see. Let's see what should happen here. I'm kind of scared still, kind of scarred from our first experience from this. <laughs> but let's just try to hang on to hope here. It it, it was there the second time, so. Reverse hollow, Haxorus, that is. Irreverse hollow rare. No! No! <sighs> Pain in my heart. Sadness. <laughs> Dark energy, double turbo energy. Sensino, cute little Dedene, far fetched Duskull, Grimer, Shink, so cute. Reverse hollow final boss. And. Oh, here we go. A rare we have not seen yet, and just an absolute cutie. Manaphy with wave veil. Prevent all. Damage done to your bench Pokemon by attacks from your opponent's Pokemon. This is like our Lord and Savior for real. This is an incredible card. Will be played to prevent uh, spread damage decks, bench damage decks. This little guy can save you. If you're sick of taking bench damage, you have the option to play this card. It is a rare, so hopefully he's not too difficult to get your hands on as a single. Purchase singles, homies, purchase singles. <laughs> that is my advice of the day. Instead of opening tons and tons of product, purchase singles for decks. It is so much easier. Sneasel, and then we have Team Yells Cheer, Reverse Hollow, and oh, uh, look at this, another rare card. That is an absolute cutie, Lil Lapras. All right, so let's keep going. So we only have uh, a couple packs left. So this is our third to last pack here, so I would be very surprised if we pulled some more spice out of these packs. Ooh, Reverse Holo Tornadus, that is a Reverse Holo Rare for us, and <gasps> a Grand Bull! Oh my goodness! This attack does 10 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So a damage counter would be like each 10 of damage. Does that make sense? So like 10 damage or 20 damage? 20 damage is two damage counters. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, <laughs> so you'd be doing 10 damage for each damage counter. So it's pretty much just how much damage you have is how much damage you're doing, but it's plus 30. Kind of interesting. It's cool though, because Bull Dash does damage to itself. So if you were just like leading with Bull Dash, damaging yourself, damaging yourself, and then you could just do a Chomp if Chomp is actually doing more damage than Bull Dash is. So that's actually kind of cool. I like that. Grand Bull, the little psychic doggo. Welcome to the club. <laughs> All right, there's no way we pull another card, right? There's just no way. Fist bump energy. We have just pulled so many incredible cards. I can't believe it. This set has been such a blast to open. A Carablast. I, okay, I gotta stop making that joke, I swear. Reverse Holo Piplup. And, oh, snap! Emo Boss's orders. Yo, that is what's up. 
Cyrus on the boss's orders. I actually really like this artwork. What do y'all think? I, I chose Giovanni over Lysander, but I think I might switch to Cyrus. This is our last pack. Fireball energy. Cute Grotal. Berry. Picking berries. Corefish. Golette. Chimeco. Chimchar. Mencino. <gasps> Yo, that's what's up. Reverse Hollow Marnie's Pride. I've gotten some awesome reverse hollow trainers and another Waluigi. <laughs> this opening was so much fun. I haven't had a box as fun to open as this one in quite a while. So thank you so much to Pokemon for sending me this box and we will be opening the ETB soon as well in probably our next opening video. So prepare for that. I'll also be starting my Legends streams very soon. I haven't even touched the game yet, so I'm very excited to play it. Uh, and I'm gonna stream the process of me playing Legends, which is super hype. I'll be giving out these super cute Boo Shop pins throughout those streams, just randomly to people who are in those streams. And if you miss the streams, no worries. We're gonna have highlight reels of my journey through the game as well. So lots of exciting, fun Pokemon related content coming up. Thank you all so much for being here. Everlasting love. Thank you so much to my patrons. I hope you enjoyed the pins this month. I already sent them all out and I will catch you all in the next video. Mwah!